I'm Julia Child. Bon appétit. Before she changed the world, Julia Child was just an American living in France. Shouldn't I find something to do? What is it that you really like to do? Eat. More than any other person, Julia Child brought the culinary profession into the homes of people throughout the United States with her perfect, charismatic TV personality that captivated her numerous fans. The French Chef aired on February 11, 1963, and later proved to be her most famous television program airing for 10 years. Producers did not approve of the short title, claiming it was uninteresting and suggested changing it. Child, with her fiery personality, disagreed, stating it was short, to the point, dignified, glamorous, and appeals to men as well as women. The relative success of the French chef led Child to the WBGH station to develop a series of her own. In 1961, there was a fire at the WBGH station which caused several of her episodes to be filmed elsewhere. Child loved being the center of attention, and when the new kitchen set was finished in 1965, she was able to do just that. The unique setup was not shot from the generic flat perspective, but it had four different sections with cameras set up at all angles. The studio was open to accommodate live audiences. Child wanted everyone to be interested in cooking and directed her show toward men because she believed men should be doing more cooking. In the 1970s, several episodes were filmed in France. There, Julia was able to talk with food experts and learn new tricks. The show had a tremendous response from fans. A large number of people would write asking for recipes and cooking advice from the infamous Julia Child. In 1996, the French chef won the first Emmy Award for educational television. Child also hosted several other shows, including Cooking with Master Chefs and In Julia's Kitchen with Master Chefs. Health and nutrition were always a concern for Child. If something she was using was risky for one's health, she would always creatively amend the recipe. Child was very close to her fans. If they wrote her questions about food, she would answer back personally. Viewers felt that Child was offering something fresh in the often formulaic landscape of television. Her excellent teaching skills and enticing personality caught the interest of people of all ages. My first contact with public television was Julia Child and my parents just going, my God, there's something on television that's intelligent. There's something on television that's actually good. There's something on television I can make. There's something on television that tastes good. There's something on television that's so funny and so unique. And I can remember sort of you know, not getting it, but hearing my parents sort of howl and cackle as she howled and cackled at what was going on and the sheer delight of what she did. Julia Child was born in Pasadena, California to John McWilliams Jr., a businessman who graduated from Princeton University and Carolyn McWilliams, a loving mother who never spent much time in the kitchen. In the 1930s, she went to her mother's alma mater, Smith College, where she graduated in 1934 with a degree in English literature. In 1942, Julia McWilliams went to Washington to join the Women's Army Corps, but was turned down because of her height. She was 6'2". Fortunately, she wasn't too tall to be espionage for Office of Strategic Services. She soon applied for a task in India, where she played an important part in communicating between Washington and India. It was there she met Paul Child during the OSS in India. In August 1946 in Maine, Julia and Paul decided to get married. Soon, 34-year-old Julia McWilliams and 44-year-old Paul Child were married. After marrying Paul, Julia felt the pressure to become a better housewife and cook as Paul grew up with a bohemian mother who was an excellent cook. Julia considered Paul her first inspiration to begin cooking. In 1948, Julia Child moved to France, where she was able to explore French cuisine. October 4, 1949, Julia arrived at École du Cordon Bleu, a prestigious culinary school which focused on mastering the art of the French cuisine. She signed up for a year-long Inesclare course instead of a six-week intensive course. This required serious commitment and support from her loving husband, Paul. After two days of taking this course, Child sat down with the school's owner, Madame Brazart, and explained that she needed a more rigorous program. Madame Brazart did not like Americans, and she claimed Julia Child was not advanced enough for a six-week course for experts. Child refused to let this get in the way of her culinary dreams, and later found a program that was more suitable, a year-long,
professional restauranteurs course taught by Chef Max Bungard. The three women from Ecole du Cordon Bleu, Julia Child, Simone Beck, and Louisiette Berthel banded together to form a homeschool cooking program in 1951 called The School of the Three Food Lovers. Later, they published a cookbook of French cuisine that would soon be sent to America. Child considers her years spent in France some of the best of her life as they marked a prominent period of transformation where Julia Child found her true calling. Child appeared on numerous TV networks including Good Morning America, The Way to Cook, and A Taste of Norway. She was also the accomplished author of several cookbooks and novels. On May 12, 1994, Paul Child died to coronary heart disease. They were married 48 years and had done everything together, side by side. At, a at 82 years old, Julia had to start over on her own and showed a new interest, cooking with wine which received some criticism from the highly religious population. She died at age 91 on August 13, 2004, in Montecito, California, due to kidney failure just two days before her 92nd birthday. Today, people still remember her legacy and sing the praises of her great contribution to the culinary world. Several quotes from the novel, Remembering Julia, truly show what an inspiration she was. Julia changed the rules not only for women, but for American cooks in their homes and in restaurants. She never gave in to fashions, but was always true to her taste and heart. This was the way she cooked, lived, and spoke. Julia Child was truly one of the first female chefs to break barriers in cuisine, pop culture, and cooking instruction. I'm Julia Child. Bon appétit!